Hey guys, welcome to the show. This week, I'm not looking at a gun. I'm looking at a stock. Um, I've been waiting for one of these to come in for an absolute dog's age. I've tested numerous guns with TSKs on. Um, I've never had a chance to test an Ergosign. I'm not sure which came first and I'm not gonna, I don't know, so I'm not gonna answer that question. Um, but Ergosign are a German company who make adjustable stocks. Um, Ergosign, TSK, very similar in, in uh, process, but a little different in execution, okay? So, um, this is the Evo Comp, available in a bewildering array of options. If you have a look at their website, um, it is available with different modular parts, different grip sizes, grips with and without finger choils, grips with and without the thumb uh, for the glove stock. We've got uh, different housings that have got holes in them, so I guess for, for weight, um, you can get ones with and without uh, recoil reducers, different butt plates, a bewildering array of options. And as such, I can't actually find out how much like, a new one costs because it's a, uh, a kind of an off the shelf menu item. There is a standard one. If I can find out a price, I will put it in the video below. Um, but right now, I do not know how much one of these costs off the shelf. As it happens, it's on a DT11 trap gun, um, but I haven't shot any trap with it. I've exclusively used this um, during testing for uh, sporting and sport trap. And as such, it shot like a dream, but it shot like a dream because the first thing I did was set it up to be <laughs> the exact stock dimensions of a standard DT11. Um, let's, before I start talking about my impressions, let's just go through um, my impressions on the build quality. It's absolutely fantastic. The shape and size of that, I think this is a medium with the finger choils. Shape and size, absolutely fantastic. You know, it positions your finger perfectly for the trigger. The thumb uh, positioning for the thumbs, sorry, the um, the glove grip is, it's okay. I would take a little bit of meat out of here, personally, just to reposition, because it's a little bit of a stretch for my little stumpy thumb. But, palm swell, very pronounced, very, very, very right-handed, obviously. These are available in left and right. Um, but it's absolutely superb in terms of positioning your hand on the gun and locking everything into position. Build quality back here, again, excellent. Uh, everything looks very, very well screwed together. The finish on them is brilliant. The um, the metal to metal fit, the wood to metal fit on it is, is very, very good. The wood quality, I mean, you're not buying this for wood quality. It's a bit of a shame. This thing's got a lovely fore end on it. Very nice, smoky, dark, bit of kind of honey and, and, and dark and light, and just really nice. And then this thing is a kind of a bit of a floorboard on the back end of it. But again, you're not buying one of these because of uh, aesthetic concerns, let's say. Uh, adjustability, exactly what you'd expect. Literally every um, dimension can be changed to suit the user. You can change cast, pitch, um, comb height, length of pull. Uh, you can basically set this up to fit any dimension and any shooter. And that's kind of part of the problem. From their back, I mean, I could take it or leave it. The grip shape is absolutely fantastic, big fan. But exactly the same as with the TSK, every one of these that I see that comes in, whether it be a TSK or in, in this first case, this Ergo sign, has been adjusted to the point where, for me, it's unshootable. Now, that may be because the users are weird shapes, but having seen the users, they're not. And what that leads me logically to believe is exactly what I think with these, which is when you give somebody this much adjustment, they spend their time making adjustments here instead of making adjustments here. When things go badly, you start messing around with cast, pitch, comb height, and it, it just it leads you down a garden path of going too far and not concentrating on your shooting. This, when I took it out of the box, was almost unshootable. The way that it had been set up, and the person who this came from was not 18 feet tall with 12 foot long arms and a nine foot neck. He was a normal person. But the way it had been set up was basically unshootable. The amount of muzzle flip, perceived recoil, everything made the gun feel absolutely horrendous. I've changed it back to, as I said, almost like DT11 factory spec. And it shoots like a dream. Um, now, I'm kind of lucky in that I'm average sized, but then again, 
most people are within 20% of average, right? And all they need is an adjustable comb. The fact that if you are that way inclined, this glove grip is available, but I just think that you'd be better off going for a glove grip stock with an adjustable comb and then leave everything else alone. And it would actually fit the gun better because you could get the wood to match the forend rather than going to something with this much adjustability and falling into the adjustability rabbit hole. Which is a shame because this is a very, very well engineered bit of kit. Really is very nice to shoot. But then again, so is the DT11. I'm not sure. Guys, this is obviously going to be one that's going to have a, a wealth of opinion in the comments section, but let me know what you think. Do you own one of these? Do you, do you regularly mess with it or have you set it and forget it? Set it and forget it is the way. Once it fits, leave it alone. If you want the experience of owning a custom stock without having to spend the money or go somewhere to get one fitted, I guess it's the way, but I don't know. That temptation's always there and everybody I've known with one of these tinkers. Um, and that causes problems. Anyway, Ergosine Evo Comp. Very, very nice bit of kit. Not for me. Chaps, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>